All right, this is gonna be a tutorial on how to do chapter five in Dead Space 2. So assuming that we just did chapter four skip and we're now right here at the end, at the start of the crypt, we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna start. So the crypt is possibly one of the most boring parts of the entire game. Basically, all we're doing is we're just running through it. You know, there's really nothing going on except for the later parts of it. You can shoot these little boxes here to get additional ammo and credits if you need it. Little cutscene here. Just ignore these guys. They don't do anything. Alright, so you just heard that puker punch out of that. That means that there's going to be a puker upcoming. The way that we're going to stop him is we're going to stasis and then run to the left side of him. And that'll get rid of... Because if you just try and run straight past him, he will damage you for some reason. But if you just run to the left of him, he will not do any damage. So after that room, there's going to be this big room here. All we're going to do is just run to the right of it. Ignore everything. Stasis that puker. And then we're good to go. Now we're going to be calling this lift, hit this stasis recharge on the way over here, and then grab this semiconductor. Alright, next up, running to the back side of this, we're going to be doing this hack panel right here, and then we're going to be doing a little puzzle that's pretty easy. All right, so the first steps, there's going to be two kinesis things that you can that you can kinesis on the other side. All we're going to do, pull them down, and then there's going to be two more. Pull them down as well. And then two more on this side. All right. So next up, we're going to be having zero we're going to have zero G. But we have to do this part a little bit differently because there is a chance that for some reason you will soft lock the game whenever you fly up. So I will tell you whenever I stasis this fan right here, um, it's whenever I hear a specific sound. Right there. I heard a sound. It was the do of everything kind of signaling that it's going to be zero G. And then I spam my launch immediately, fly up, shoot this super late, basically whenever that comes out of it, and then I still soft locked. Cool. Again, like I said, there's a chance that this can happen for no reason. It's really frustrating and annoying. Um, but yeah, what I did usually works, but sometimes it will not. So just be aware that your game can soft lock, and there's, it's pretty rare, but it can happen. All right. So once we're done with that, just we're just gonna land and we're gonna find the panel. There it is. That'll get rid of zero G and unlock this next room. There's also a skip that you could do there called Vent Skip, but it is pretty obsolete because it's harder than Chapter 4 plus 5 Skip, and Chapter 4 plus 5 Skip um, skips all of this. So I wouldn't recommend doing that, and if you're really bent on doing that, then just do 4 plus 5 Skip. Next thing that we're going to do, just come through here. There's going to be three things here, just cases, all three of them, like so, and then that'll unlock this vent. All right, we're gonna pop out of the vent right here. Just run forward. It's gonna be pretty dark, but you can use the locator if you get lost. Turning right, turning right again. There's gonna be two enemies here. You can ignore the lurker, and then there's gonna be a guy here. You can just shoot him once, and he'll usually die. Um, so yeah, that's pretty easy. So this next part, it's pretty interesting. If you have the javelin gun, that makes this part a little bit faster because you can one-shot the tripod. If you don't, then just shoot the tripod four times with your plasma cutter. I will be assuming that you have the javelin gun at this point, and so I'll show you how to do the javelin gun. He's going to pop out right there. That's fine. Um, there is a zero cycle that you can do here, but it's pretty precise. So when he pulls you back, just shoot him once, and then immediately checkpoint restart. 
that'll put you at the end of his little cutscene animation thing. So yeah. So it's gonna be a big pack fight here. Um, the only tip I can give here is basically just try and kill these things in the way that I do. Um, so one, two, three, right there. We're gonna head up. We're gonna ignore all the other ones that spawn there. Kill those two. Again, killing these as fast as possible is the best way to do it. There isn't really any set specific order. Um, so yeah. And then once you kill that last guy, the door will unlock. You can just run right past this guy. He doesn't really do anything. First thing that we're gonna do when we, when we enter this elevator is immediately shoot out the vent at the top, and that'll prevent an enemy from spawning. Boom. You're almost here. I'll be waiting by the shuttle. All right. So next, we're gonna be grabbing the schematic for the detonator. So just make sure that your inventory isn't full. So we're just going to be running. The, uh, the schematic is right here next to the save station. So we're just going to be shooting this glass and then Kinesis seeing that and grabbing it. And now we have a big long cutscene with Dana. So there is some gameplay after this so I will watch this. Um, but yeah, it's pretty boring so you can just skip ahead in the video a little bit until action starts happening and that you can see on the screen. Alright, so now, this is where the action's gonna start happening. And by action, I mean really easy part that you should have no troubles with. So, just know that right here, this is when the quick time event starts, so just hit E as fast as you can, and you'll get past it. There's gonna be a little bit of a fight coming up, but it is extremely easy on casual, because all of the brute slims are one shot. So you'll see him, oh no, so big and scary, right? As long as you have a plasma cutter out right here, whenever you see the yellow spot, just aim to it and shoot once. That's all you have to do. For the very last, so there's gonna be four parts of this. For the very last one, you don't even have to aim. All you have to do is just tap shoot and it'll kill him. But for this one you do, but for this very last one, all you have to do is just click as fast as you can and then boom. So there is gonna be a trick here. Um, called Tormentor Phase 2 Skip. I would recommend that every beginner at least learn it so that they know how to do it. Um, you don't have to get it for a good time at all, um, but it doesn't waste any time to go for it. So I'm going to show you um, how to do it, and then I'm going to immediately try and... Um, or I'm going to immediately check for restart and do it the normal way. So as soon as he throws you, um, we're going to get out our line gun, and we're going to stasis him. That'll give us a little bit of extra time. Kinesis this door. We're gonna run over next to this box right here till we're all the way left. We're gonna aim right below this little ledge right here with our line gun. And then there's gonna be two yellow pads. 
Um, the second one is just before it's off the screen. That's when we're going to shoot our line gun. Again, I'm going to show you guys this, but I would recommend looking at the tutorial for way more info than this. Um, it goes way more in depth, but I would recommend that everyone at least try and learn the setup somewhat so that if you do get it, it's awesome. But if you don't get it, it's no biggie. It doesn't waste any time at all. So then you just aim here, right there. And I missed it. That's okay. But again, you know, it's pretty easy to choke. So I'm going to try it one more time, and then if I get it, I will move on to the normal route. So stasis, kinesis, kinesis, thanks. It's far left. Aim there. Shoot. And then boom. If you see the ship explode, that means that you got it. So now I can show you the normal route. So instead of doing all that lineup business with that, we're just going to run straight through. And that'll trigger the cutscene with the ship. We don't have to stasis them at all. Just kinesis this. And the reason why the trick works is because you see all of those exploding canisters at the start. If you shoot them at all, that'll trigger you. Like, it'll skip all of this. So, basically, it just triggers you spawning into Chapter 6. So, immediately right here, when he grabs you, there's going to be a bunch of these canisters. All you have to do is just shoot one like that, and that'll, that'll end the chapter. Alright, and that is Chapter 5.